What's up guys, Quick Timing here, welcome back to a new GTA 5 online video and today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys some really, really easy ways of ranking up in GTA 5 online. So, I'm going to be using different methods for different ranks and I'm going to be showing you guys all the different ways of getting your ranking up. So, uh, these methods may not be as good as previous uh, ways people were doing it and the reason is because they've enforced a pretty strong patch on replaying missions and it's very hard to farm missions now for XP but I've still got some pretty good methods in here and hopefully these should help you guys rank up extremely fast. Right, so let's get into this. So first of all you can see in the gameplay right now I'm actually choosing my race or uh, I was choosing my race and I'm actually doing the race right now and so this is a very very good way to rank up still since they uh, allow you to actually still replay the races. It's only the missions I think and the jobs that they've uh, disable the ability to replay. Um, so one of the race maps I was doing on this gameplay was Criminal Records. I think that's the one I was using uh, for this very point in the gameplay. Now this is a very, very, very small map. I believe it's actually the smallest race map in GTA 5 Online. And you can complete this in around 30 seconds, I say. Uh, I was using a custom motorcycle, so I had a few upgrades, you know, to make it a little bit faster. So I may have done it in a bit under that, but uh, every time you complete this, I believe you get 780 XP or reputation points. And that's a very, very nice way to uh, rank up. So that's definitely one way to do it. There's also another map called Down the Drain. That's also a very good map to race on. Uh, you do get more XP, but the races is quite a bit longer. And it's a kind of more of a trickier course compared to uh, Criminal Records. It's a very, very simple that one. You just keep going around in circles. Uh, but with Down the Drain, it's slightly different. You guys will see in the gameplay. So I would recommend these races until around level 15. And if you want, you can keep on doing them until I'd say around 25. And then I'd probably change it up with something else. So moving on to the next thing I've got is Survival. So Survival is a very, very good way to rank up. Uh, so here's how Survival works. Each wave grants you 1000 RP if you personally kill all the enemies yourself so every time you do a wave uh, you kill all the enemies you get 1000 reputation points now that's pretty decent considering each wave you can do pretty pretty fast if you're good at doing it and as well as that you get 10 RP per kill so uh, for example 30 kills would be 300 RP which is obviously reputation points and now that does add up after time considering there's so many uh, so many people coming at you to kill you and you have to keep shooting back and they're very very easy to kill so so that 10 RP every time does definitely add up after time uh, you also get 25 RP for every vehicle you destroy uh, this also includes helicopters as well as that you also get a wave completion bonus at the start of every wave and that's also a very very nice feature and that also does uh, definitely add up after time so that's pretty much uh, survival in a nutshell you just uh, keep on killing the people that are coming at you and you keep on uh, ranking up your survival waves and you earn XP and it's really really fun so I would definitely recommend to do that and if you want to get your shooting up it's also a very very nice way to do that as well okay so moving on a little bit uh, you can also do parachuting which is unlocked at level 10 and that takes about one minute to land and every time you land you get about 700 RP per drop and once again guys uh, your RP does go up uh, the higher rank you are, I forgot to mention that earlier on, but uh, the actual higher rank you are, your RP will go up, so... Um that's that for you guys. Right, so moving on to the missions. So missions used to be really, really good to farm, but as I said earlier, they have, uh, you know, put a, a restriction on uh, how to replay missions. Now, there is a way to replay missions. I will leave a link in the description of this video to show you guys how to do it. It's a lot trickier than before, but it is possible, and the XP is still very, very good. But saying that, I wouldn't recommend doing really any missions until around level 55. Uh, that's when you unlock a very, very good mission called Parking Garage. Now, what Parking Garage is, and also there'll be some gameplay on screen right now to show you guys, is a mission that takes around 30 seconds to do, and you get 5k XP every time you do it. So if you've got a friend who's level 55, then I'd recommend you to ask him or her uh, if they want to do the Parking Garage mission. It's a really good way to rank up. Uh, also, you do need to be kind of level 60, though, because you do need a grenade launcher on it. And there's also a very, very specific spot, which I'll be showing this gameplay, uh, where you have to shoot in the air to actually uh, complete it in under 30 seconds. And what that would do is destroy the documents on the mission and you'll get the XP for it and also get some uh, decent amount of money. So, so I would advise you guys to grind out that parking garage mission until level 75. And then that's when the really, really good XP comes in. Considering you can actually still replay missions, but it's still a bit harder, but it's, it's very, very good XP. The, the mission is called Rooftop Rumble. It's actually assigned by uh, Martin. He'll be added to your contacts automatically, I believe, once you reach that level or even previously, I'm not sure. But uh, basically what you do on this mission is you can run up to the side of the garage and explode all the cars in around 30 seconds seconds for $2,500, I believe 4,000 
RP points. That's a very, very good completionist time, and it's also very good XP. And, uh, you know, you can grind that out uh, for quite some time to gain some very, very good levels. So, right, guys, that's it. That's going to be the ranking up guide for today, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. You guys have been asking for this for a very long time. So, I thought I'd try and put one together uh, from, like, the knowledge I've got in-game and also uh, looking up, you know, other ways to rank up. So, hopefully, this does help you guys out. So thanks for watching the video guys and uh, I really do appreciate you guys liking the video. If we can hit like 500 likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing. I spent a lot of time working on this uh, trying to find all the information out and editing the video. So uh, that would be very much appreciated if we could hit that many. And if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe. I'll be releasing a lot more GTA 5 content in the future. And that's that guys. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.